That's why I said, when we wrote that thing on Facebook, man, you don't understand how much even a thousand dollars, how much yeah. that can feed people. You really don't understand when they give you that number. What we got here? What's your name? Matt Lamar. There it is. And what we got here? Chris Emanuel. The owners of Big Belly Q and Big Belly Barbecue. There you go. What do you got in your treasure chest there, Pat? Uh, we got a whole bunch of food to donate to St. Catherine's Hospital today. Yeah. All the, uh, the nurses and doctors working overtime here trying to fix this virus. Thank you to Eddie Carlson specifically for putting this together. That was huge, brother, for real. So what's on the menu? What's on the menu for our heroes? We have ribs, pulled pork, Cheese. Boy, it's making uh, that three boom, different boom types sound. of quesadillas. All right, we have we have ribs, mac and cheese, pulled pork, cornbread. Chris, you remember the salads, right? Yeah. Oh, got that. Um, <laughs> yeah, make sure to put that. In. <laughs> yeah, we got a. We have our house and harvest salad. Uh huh. Uh, we made three different types of quesadillas. Oh a my goodness. Quesadilla, a chicken quesadilla, and a steak quesadilla. What? Um. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of food for them, hoping they're gonna enjoy it. Oh my gosh, so how many people can this this uh, feed? How much would- What would you say, man? I, I would think say- we're, we're looking at like over 100. Probably. What? I say, uh, if, if not over 100, 100 on the damn dog. Oh my goodness. The cornbread alone that we had the tray of yeah. is, what is it? It's 150 pieces alone. Oh my goodness. That doesn't include the, anything else that we have, just that one tray. So just part of the fundraiser helped supply this, not the whole thing, God, right? Yeah, this is just the beginning. Oh my this goodness. Is the first stop. So thanks to everybody that's been donating. Yeah. This you, is couldn't do it absolutely you. amazing. I love you all. So tell us a little bit. You are you guys open right now? No, nah, we're gonna open up April 15th because of all this going on, we want to dedicate the next two weeks to feeding all anyone that works in hospitals first responders anything so instead of us trying to open up on uber eats and all that screw it at least donate our time and be able to feed the people that we love that are helping us out there, is. there it is and then what's the name of the business big belly q and big belly barbecue there it is there it is and open days is what again april 15th all right awesome we'll see you at the hospital there you go <laughs> i hope not well, no, I, you're going to cut us in the hospital, right? Give them the food? Yeah, but not the viewers. The viewers are not going <laughs> to... We don't want them to go to the hospital. Well, they're going to see us. Eh? I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said... When we wrote that thing on Facebook, man, you don't understand how much even a thousand dollars, how much yeah. that can feed people. You really don't understand. When they give you that nonsense that you see Sarah McLaughlin mm -hmm. saying online, mm -hmm. where a dollar will go and feed someone for a month, that's not even a joke. Wow. Food is not very expensive. Wow. It's the art of making food that costs the most money. So when you donate a thousand dollars for food, mm -hmm. you don't even understand how many people that's feeding. And this isn't even the cheapest stuff out there. Wow. If we got straight up rice and beans alone, mm -hmm. we could feed probably two to three thousand people easy. Jeez. But there's no flavor in rice and beans no. like that. So we gotta amp it up no. with some ribs, some pulled pork. You gotta give them the stuff. big belly flavor. Yeah, you gotta the big belly. Yeah. There it is. You gotta make it pop. You gotta make, gotta make it pop. pop. <laughs> Alright, whenever it gets back, we gotta wash our hands. <laughs> <laughs>